Guys, we're here at California Adventure. We're gonna check out the Food and Wine Festival and try a bunch of different food. And the video starts right now. tip if you guys are here and you want to save a little bit of time and you have at least two people in your party have one person jump into the line where you're going to order the food and have somebody jump into the pickup line this way when you guys are done ordering the food the other person's already at least halfway through the pickup line because these lines are at least an hour long I think the longest we waited to order food was about 20 minutes so you guys are gonna save a lot of time doing that and if you guys don't want to do it this way well here's tip number two you can order everything you want in the food and wine at one pick at one place and then save your receipt and then go to the pickup lines and pick it up where that place is. Yeah, so, save so that saves you time. time if you know what you want. All right guys, for our third and our last tip, you guys, it gets pretty busy here, so don't get here at the peak times, lunch time, dinner time. Get here at that in-between time when they first open between like 2.30 and 5 p.m and any time after seven, that's gonna save you time by itself. If you guys just wanna come and try all the food, that's probably the best times to do. Uh, check it out, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, cause the lines are super long when we got here. We got here about two o'clock and now it's 5.30 in the lines. There's still lines, but yeah, they're it's, not it's as long. It's about half of what it was when yeah. we got here. It's the French onion grilled beef tenderloin slider. It's grilled beef tenderloin topped with cheese sauce and caramelized onions served on an onion roll. Good. I don't know, I can't put my finger on it, but it doesn't taste like fast food it tastes like home cooked food so with that being said it is pretty good it, it tastes like you're missing like a baked potato or like some vegetable I, I would say definitely try this when you guys are coming out uh, we're gonna do the wings and they're called ranch wings with hot sauce drizzle Kid friendly with some Frank's Red Hot. Alright, so I was gonna just have Holly do the uh, review on these wings, but they are so good. They're moist, they're, they're like the perfect wing. I'm not a big wing person, but these were really good. Alright, hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to take a quick second to say thank you to everybody that has donated. That is exactly what is paying for today's uh, California Adventure Food and Wine Festival. That is what's paying for all the food today. So thank you guys, and we appreciate all the support and everybody that's going to continue supporting the channel. It means a lot to us. What's next, Brent? The Chili Reno Empanada. What's in it? Uh, pepper, salsa, and some other words I cannot pronounce. Look at that. That looks really good. Really shot. Mm. I don't think he's gonna share that. Nope, he's mine. So far, this is the best thing here. I just need like 10 of these and I'm good. <laughs> Maybe go grab a beer. Uh, so good. Explain to us what this is, Brent. It's the next level crackers and cheese, house made herb crackers with white cheddar, bellwether farms, and cherry jam. It's messy. That is really good. 
Is it? Mm -hmm. It's kind of light in a weird way. I would get it again. It does look pretty good. I get some of that cherry. This thing is messy, guys. So if you guys come and get this, just know it's going to be all over the place before it goes in your face. Oddly enough, this works. The cheese kind of cuts down on the sweetness, but yet the sweetness kind of coincides really well with the cheese and the herbs. This is something that works out really well. All right, so we moved locations. I think we're just gonna start doing this kind of on the fly. So uh, what's next, Britt? It's the real popcorn loin with roasted garlic, mashed potatoes, and bar black garlic. Alright, so let me give it a shot. See, see how you like it. I love me some mashed potatoes. Lately. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Like you get a little garlic garlicky taste with the, uh, the potatoes or what? The meat's kind of dry. The meat was better in the slider though. Was it? Okay. What else should we have meat in? I think that's it today. Yeah, okay. that's it today. Yeah, it was a little more. And the chicken was moister than the meat. But okay. the mashed potatoes are good. By the way, this is probably the longest line here to pick this up. Check this out, guys. That goes, that kind of zigzags back and forth about three times. All right, guys, so next, this is going to be the blueberry buttermilk pie. I mean, check that out. Doesn't that look good? So let's see, blueberry buttermilk pie. It doesn't say what it consists of, but obviously it's some sort of pie. It's got blueberries and looks like a some type of custard or something in there. Let's dive into it together, huh? Trying to not tear it up. Good grief. Cream there. Look at that. Almost looks like uh, obviously not lemon, but the same way like oh, yeah. a lemon meringue pie. That is really good. Wow, that is really, <laughs> really good. Excuse me while I enjoy myself another bite. Alright, so for our next little treat, what do we got here, Holly? Black potato, <laughs> black tan potato puff. Black and tan potato puff. With beef, with beef. With beef, of course. Alright, go ahead and give it a shot. See how you like it. And uh, we're using a spoon. Not sure they were all out of pork. The best apparatus to be uh, trying this with, but. <laughs> <laughs> Little, little bit of a struggle, huh? Anyways, while she's uh, currently devouring that dinosaur sized bite, here's another quick little view. Alright, so now, your first thoughts on this, Ollie? What, what do you think? Is it, it good? It's pretty salty. Oh no, it's something we don't like. It's but salty, huh? So, is this not kid approved? No. This stuff, like this stuff looks funny. Yeah, it's probably like a stuffing of some sort. Is that a mashed potatoes there at the bottom? What no, it's that? a tater top that's like broken. Oh, okay. The gravy is really salty. Mm -hmm. I think this is our first thumb down, thumbs down of the day, guys. So, it sounds better than what it is. Right now, for today's last tasting at the Food and Wine Festival, what do we have here, Holly? This is glazed pork barbecue belly. Glazed barbecue pork belly. Hi. Let's, take, uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's see, let's see if it's good. Is this kid friendly? Well, you went with the mac and cheese first, huh? How's the mac and cheese? Is it good? It's good. Okay, try the meat. You might just have to pick it up and girl handle it. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so uh, I'm assuming this is going to be good, right? Yeah? That's good. Okay. We're going to switch over to Britt. All right, so now Britt's going to go ahead and uh, give you an honest take on this uh, mac and cheese with a great big long name. How is it? Is it good? Mm-hmm. What about the meat? The glazed pork belly. I'm assuming it's going to be a little salty. Mm-hmm. Salty? Mm-hmm. Well, this one just cannot stop with the mac and cheese. It must be good, huh? Uh-huh. It's like one of the plainest things we've eaten, though, the mac and cheese. Yeah? That's why she likes it. Uh, very good, very good. All right, guys, we have quite a few more videos here on the channel. Uh, do me a favor, check out one of these videos here on the screen. YouTube is suggesting that one of these videos here, you guys would most likely enjoy from our channel.